Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about throughput. Now what is a throughput? Throughput is the rate at which bits are transferred from the sender to the receiver. So the unit of throughput is bits per unit time. So the two, notion, uh, two concepts here, one is instantaneous throughput and the other is the average throughput. The instantaneous throughput is the rate at any given point in time. And so it can vary over time. And the average is the rate over long periods of time. And by rate, once again, it's the number of bits that are being transmitted per unit time between the sender and the receiver. So let's look at an example here. Here there is a server which has a file which is of length f bits and wants to send it to this client here. Now, between the client, there are these two links and let's and consider that this first link has a capacity of R subscript S bits per second and the second link has a capacity of R subscript C bits per second. So the way to think of throughput is we are a fluid model. Think about water flowing through a pipe and, the, <clears throat> and this is a reservoir or the server is a reservoir where there is where it has F bits to transmit and this these F bits are flow through this pipe at the rate of R subscript S bits per second and they flow through this one and they can uh, flow through this pipe at R subscript C bits per second. So the next question is what is the rate at which water can flow or in this case bits can flow from the server to this uh, client provided that these two links or these two pipes in between are of different capacity or they can carry bits at different rates. So let's look at this. Let's consider the first case where the, <clears throat> the first pipe that is R, R subscript S is thinner than the second pipe that is which is, has a capacity of R subscript C which is which is mathematically to say is that R S is less than R C. Now what is the average end-to-end -end throughput in this case? Note that this particular pipe is has a smaller capacity than this particular pipe here with the result that the amount of fluid that's going to flow through this pipe is going to dictate the total amount of fluid that can flow from the server to the uh, to the client. So the thickness of the first pipe or the value of RS is going to determine the throughput. So you do, once again, to analyze throughput, you have to think of fluid flowing from the server to the receiver. So the average end-to-end -end throughput in this case is going to be R subscript S. Let's consider another scenario where the first pipe is thicker. That is, the capacity of the first pipe is R subscript <coughs> S and that is greater than RC. What happens is the amount of fluid or number of bits that can flow through this pipe is much greater than the amount of fluid that can flow through this pipe per second. As a result, the throughput is <coughs> will be determined by the capacity of the second pipe or is going to be RC. So, the takeaway message from this slide is that the bottleneck link or the <clears throat> or the link on the end-to-end -end path which has the uh, which has the least capacity constrains the end-to-end -end throughput. So, depending on the thickness of each of the of these <clears throat> of these pipes, the one with the minimum capacity is going to determine the end-to-end -end throughput. So let's look at a, 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 an example which in the internet which is slightly more complex. So here what we have is, here we have <clears throat> 10 uh, servers, 10 sending uh, files to 10 clients out here. Now all these, these servers are connected by, uh, have a different connection to the directly to the internet, which is R subscript S. You could think of this as an ethernet cable which connects the server to the greater internet. And then uh, each of these clients is also has a, dedicated connection to the internet which is also be, which you once again can be thought of as the uh, as ethernet cable joining this uh, client to the to the internet now the entire capacity through the internet the packet can flow over multiple uh, hops or multiple routers but we abstract that notion and we consider that the that the entire capacity through the internet is is going to be given by this fat pipe of capacity r now this capacity is going to be equally shared between all the all the 10 servers so all these 10 servers are going to use this capacity r the, note that there there is not a single connection there may not be a single connection of capacity capital r it's just an abstract way of saying that the internet can provide a rate of capital r now this capital r has to be equally divided among each of these connections 
and note that there are 10 connections in all. So each connection will get its fair share of R over 10. Now for each connection, you can get R over 10 in the middle and then there is RS and RC. So the the end-to-end -end throughput for each connection is going to depend on the on the value of RS, RC, and R over 10. Now, the, the way to mathematically represent this is to use this minimum function, which is which just means that the value of the end-to-end -end throughput is going to be the minimum of RC, RS, and R over 10. That is, whichever is this minimum value, that is going to determine the end-to-end -end throughput. So for example, if RC is less than RS and R over 10, then the, min, then the throughput is going to be RC. On the other hand, if RS is less than RC and R over 10, then the throughput is going to be RS. And if R over 10 is less than both RC and RS, then the, capa <coughs> then the throughput is going to be R over 10. In practice, mostly it is RS or RC, that is a, 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 that is a bottleneck, and <coughs> not R. So, so one, one, with this, I like to end our discussion on throughput, and I will, <clears throat> and I would uh, conclude by saying that the throughput is the is the is the weight between the sender and the receiver, and is and its units and its units is bits per second. To calculate the throughput, what you have to determine is consider a fluid model and consider the and the capacity of each of the intermediate links between the sender and the receiver and the minimum <coughs> capacity of the minimum link is going to be the bottleneck and that is going to determine the throughput between the sender and the receiver. With, that, uh, with this, I'll conclude this lecture.